Walden, a game. On the reflective surface of a digitally rendered pond passing through the seasons, words appear. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life, to live so sturdily and Spartan-like as to reduce it to its lowest terms, and, if it proved to be mean, to get the whole and genuine meanness of it, or if it were sublime, to know it by experience and to give a true account of it. The wooden frame of a small cabin stands in a lush green forest. In the evening, purple clouds hang in the sky over a tree-lined lake. In the morning, the sun shines down on the lake. fish from the lake using a long stick. We approach a small green and white lizard hiding inside a fallen log. On the lake, a loon flaps its wings, then dives into the dark green water. At dusk, we move to the water's edge, where a hummingbird feeds in the bushes. When we approach an open book, an instructional scroll appears. You found Emerson's copy of Confucius, an on-screen text box tells us. Return it to him to claim the inspiration this text offers. A man in Victorian attire appears, holding a book. Trees sway beneath an arching rainbow. We make our way through the shallows at the shore of the lake and stop beside a stack of balanced rocks. The direction arrow instructs us to row a small boat away from the shore. In a building, we take a flyer from a notice board. Surveying job available. Payment of $1 by town officials upon submission. Later, we make our way along a railroad track and peer through antiquated surveyor's equipment. Our findings are noted on a scroll. We open a book which features an annotated map of Walden Pond. Later, we make our way through the forest along a sun-dappled path. We stop beside a tree and admire the yellow flowers of a porcelain plant. A scroll invites us to pick it by pressing A. Our hand reaches out and grabs some. Then we carry on down the path. Night falls on the framed-in cabin. Shingles appear on the walls and roof. Then snow begins to fall, blanketing the ground. We make our way through the snow-covered forest and travel across the icy pond. Later, we approach a row of buildings and enter a shop. Good day, Henry. The shopkeeper waves. In a well-appointed study, Emerson reads a book about the local wildlife of Concord, Massachusetts. Back at the lake, the ice recedes from the shore. In the spring, a steam train moves by. A flock of birds flies overhead. <laughs> 